Hi, this is Scott Hanselman. I wanted to share with you some of the new features of Visual Studio 2012 and ASP.NET 4.5. For this video, I want to talk about Web Forms Strongly Typed Data Controls. These are part of ASP.NET Web Forms. If you're familiar with Web Forms, you've probably used data controls before. I'll switch over to my page here. I'm going to pull some data out of a database. I'll start by making an unordered list. And then I'm going to take this list item and I'm going to repeat it. So I'm actually going to bring in a repeater control. And I'm going to have an item template where we'll have a list item for each of those. And we're going to pull some data out of the database, specifically categories. I know that categories have an ID, so I'm going to make a data binding expression and say eval category ID. This is the way that we did things before. I've got a string that I'm passing in there. I'll pull out description as well. Then I'll go to the code behind and I'll say, I'm going to start with a repository. That's where my data is stored. Make a new category repository. And then I will take the data out of that and put it into the data source here. I'm going to go ahead and get all categories. And then I'll complete that with a data bind call. Okay. Now we're pulling that out with this eval command. And we're passing it in with a string. If I go ahead and run that, you see I get my data successfully. But what if I'd made a misspelling? Go ahead and did a build and things still compiled. It said build succeeded. I've got an error in my code because I'm passing in strings to an eval that's going to be evaluated later in the process. I don't actually know about that bug until the application runs. So that's where strongly typed data controls come in. I can actually tell this repeater that the item type that we care about is a category. Notice how I got IntelliSense on that as well. It knows about the types that are available to me within this namespace. Instead of saying eval, I've said that the item type is category, so I can actually say item dot, and it knows that this is a category. IntelliSense automatically picks up these properties. These are properties of the category. So I can say category ID, and instead of eval description, I can say item description. Build that, run it, and it works the same. What if that was misspelled? Well, notice that I'm getting a red squiggly there. Model.category does not contain a definition for category ID. So it knows ahead of time that that is wrong and it gives me the information that I need to fix that bug. That's available in not just repeaters but form views and grid views and any kind of data control in ASP.NET web forms that uh, can do data binding. You can use the new item type. And because ASP.NET 4.5 installs on top of ASP.NET 4, all of your existing pages will work, but you can go and add features like this to existing stuff. Just like I took this repeater and replaced the eval with a strongly typed data binding expression, you can do the same with your sites. You can upgrade them to .NET 4.5. They'll just run as before. And then you can go through and make changes like this and get the benefits of ASP.NET 4.5 a little bit at a time at your speed. That's just one small feature of ASP.NET Web Forms. Check for the other videos uh, with other features like model binding. Have fun!